life is in him when you follow him understand Jesus is looking for followers it's not looking for Christians everybody that he, he encountered he didn't say you are a Christian he said follow me are we together now Amen. he said what follow me the journey of Christianity is the journey of following it is the journey where you begin to journey with Christ. He didn't say, sit with me. He didn't say, oh, I am here now, sit under me. He said, there should be a continuous following. He said, follow me. He found them, they were fishermen of fish. They were fishers of fish. They were fishing fish, whatever you call it. He said, from today, I'll make you a fisher of men. And he said, what do you have to do? There's a price. He said, what? Follow me. Who are you following? You are following the light. When you follow this light, then it said in Psalms 34 verse 5, he said, as they followed him, they looked at him. And he said, what happened is that their faces became radiant. And those that understand physics and science, you understand what it means to be radiant. In other words, their face began to shine. They became radiant. In other words, every, whatever you can talk of, the filthiness was removed. And the Bible says they were not ashamed. You may be ashamed today because of a situation. But when you look at Jesus, what happens is that your face becomes radiant. That's why he said, as you behold him, as you look at him, the Bible says you, you are changed. You begin to look like him. That's why the Bible says when they came to arrest Jesus, they could not identify him. They told Judas to say, you, we need you to kiss him. Why? Because as the disciples, they followed him, they became radiant. They began to look like him. Are we together now? Amen. They began to look like Jesus. So they couldn't, they couldn't identify who is Jesus here. They said, you have to kiss him. What does that show you? It shows that they became like Jesus. And as you are here, that is the desire of God that you become like Jesus. I said that is the desire of God that you become like Jesus. Amen. The word of God is the light of man. And later David goes on, he said, the word is the lamp unto my feet. Amen. You may be seated or standing in darkness, but he said, when you take your word, what happens is that the word becomes your lamp. That's why in verse 9, he said, how can a young man keep his ways clean? He said, by taking it unto your commandments. And he said, thy word I have eaten in my heart. The word of God has to be eaten in your heart so that your life can also be eaten in Christ. That's why he said, remain in me and I in you. And when I remain in you, what happens is that your life becomes hidden in me. In other words, you cannot be found. The witches cannot find you. Amen. That's why in the book of John 3, the Bible says a great teacher by the name of Nicodemus came to Jesus. And he began to ask him to say, how can a man enter the kingdom of God? And he said, unless one is born again, and he talks about, he said, you, shall, you have to be born of water and of the spirit. And he said, how can I be born a second time? Should I enter my mother's womb and come again the second time? And he said, no, no, I'm not talking about that. And later on, he said what? He said, when the wind begins to blow, he said, you don't know where it coming from. You don't know where it is going. The only thing that you understand or you can hear is what? The sound. And he said, the soul is he that is born of the spirit. When you are born of the spirit, you become like the wind. When your life is wrapped inside the word of God, you become like the wind. Nobody understands where you are coming from. Nobody understands where you are going. The only thing that they are permitted to hear is the sound. What sound? The sound of prosperity. What sound? The sound of breakthrough. What sound? The sound of taking over. That's why he said, as the Holy Ghost came, the first thing that they heard, the Bible says it was a sound. The first thing that happens in heaven, there is a sound that comes. So the sound of a mighty rushing wind. 
So he said, when your life is in Christ, you become like the wind. When your life is hidden in him, you are like the wind. Nobody can understand you. When you are born of the spirit, there is a life that you are living. And that is the life of the light. And in the book of Matthew 5,